Hi, fourth graders. For vocabulary today, we are looking at our five words of the week again. And today we're talking about synonyms and antonyms for those five words. Remember that a synonym is another word that means the same thing. An antonym is another word that means the opposite. So we are going to think of two synonyms and antonyms for our five words. Flexible, recent, peculiar, mob, and contemplate. So think about how you would explain those words and how you would say what the opposite of those words is. So first let's look at flexible, which means easily changed. So some synonyms for flexible might be adjustable or bending. Things that can adjust and bend are flexible. The opposite or antonyms are inflexible. So not easily changed, unbending, could even be rigid or um, stiff. Okay, those are the opposite of flexible. Our next word is recent, which means a time not long ago. So some other words that mean the same thing or in synonyms for recent could be latest, the recent news or the latest news or new. And some opposite things could be something in the future because recent is talking about in the past, but the opposite of that is the future. And the same for old. Recent is something that's just happened not long ago, but something that's old happened a long time ago. Okay, so those would be some antonyms for recent. You can possibly think of more. I'm just giving you some for each one. So let's look at peculiar which is different from the usual or norm. So some other words that mean the same as peculiar are different, unusual. We might even say abnormal or weird. Um, antonyms or words that mean the opposite. Oh, we have got abnormal <laughs> or strange. We're still going, sorry. Um, and now words that might mean the opposite of peculiar. If everything is the same, then it's not peculiar. Usual, not peculiar. Normal, not peculiar. Our next word, <coughs> excuse me, is mob, a large rowdy group. So words that might mean the same sort of thing as mob would be crowd or herd, like a big herd of people. Words that mean the opposite of a big group would be few, there were a few people or a few things. Individual, which means just one. It's the opposite or an antonym for mob. And our final word is contemplate, which is to consider with careful thought. I've got the wrong picture there, I beg your pardon. And some synonyms for contemplate are to consider, to think, to ponder. The opposite of contemplating is to reject something. Instead of taking your time and really thinking about something, is just to instantly reject it and disregard advice. Okay? Or even to ignore ideas. Instead of thinking about these things, you just put them away and ignore them. So they would be antonyms of contemplate and just rush through and not take time. So now it is your turn in your vocabulary journal to turn back to the pages you worked on yesterday where you already entered in the definition and the sentence for each of the five words. And today you're going to add synonyms. So here for an example, the word flexible, we have the definition and the sentence. Today you're going to add synonyms like adjustable or bending, and you're going to add antonyms, inflexible, and unbending and any other synonyms or antonyms that you can think of or that you can come up with. And remember, choose one of the words and type in the text box some synonyms and antonyms for me. I still expect all five to be filled in in your vocabulary journal, but in the text box, just share one of the words with me with two synonyms and two antonyms. Okay, off you go.